All right, so, ja -ja whoa. Hello, beautiful bag lovers. Trina here from the Bag Hag Digest. And today we're talking something a bit outside of the bag. I actually did some shopping this uh, Christmas holiday season for myself. And it's the only thing I bought actually. Uh, this year has been the year of no buying presents for anyone, no receiving presents from anyone except myself. Um, and I, I think it's it's the way forward, my friends. Uh, more minimalist and uh, avoids getting stuff uh, for people that don't really need stuff. And that's a lot of us these days. And um, saves money. And um, I think you should shower your friends and family with hugs, kisses, conversation, and food. So I did a lot of that. Uh, but I and I don't regret not having it, like gone crazy with the Christmas shopping stuff. So good habit to start for uh, moving forward 2019. But I did do some shopping. Um, I've been deciding that I wanted to streamline my makeup set, so I've sort of decluttered it a bit and one out, went out and bought a whole set of eyeshadow palettes in a matte formulation because as I am approaching the uh, age of 50, I am realizing that really matte shades are the way to go. So I have this uh, new Sassy Sienna's palette from a whole bunch of palettes that I bought from this company called Dose of Colors after watching too many YouTube videos. And I have to say, no regrets. I got a total of one, two, three, four, five palettes for uh, about $100. Um, that's called the Vault palette, and I'll share with you share with you the packaging and all that, how I got it in a bit. But today I'm wearing this one, and I've decided to put this one on because I think it was the one I would like the least because it's very sort of um, it's, it's a terracotta vibe, as you can see here. And I don't really like oranges so much, but I do have this orange stripe on my shirt today, so I thought I'd go with the one I, I think I like least. And if I like that, chances are I'm going to like the whole palette. And I like this. This is totally pigmented. Uh, it didn't have a lot of fallout on my face and very easy to blend. It didn't take me long to do this eye look, which let's get a close up of it now. It's just, it's very orangey, um, which is really not my vibe, I have to be honest, but I like it. It's all right. It's all right. So I got rid of some other palettes that are too, for me, in my opinion, age inappropriate. The glitters. Yeah, just gotta get rid of those glitters. So I, I did, much to my sadness. I think on a YouTube video a while ago, I, I shared with you a bunch of hush palettes that I bought that were gonna be used for dupes for the, I think it was for Huda Beauty. So they were cheapies and maybe that's, that's not why I didn't like them. I thought the, the formulas were great on those cheap hush palettes, but the too much shimmer and shine and Nah, just at the end of the day, I think I'm sticking with the mats, my friend, for me anyway. So, um, let us let me share those palettes with you now. Let's open up this Dos Vault. <sighs> All right, so, judge, whoa! Okay, so we got a picture of the person, I think she owns the company, I'm not sure, I'll put her name in here somewhere if I can find it. Uh, I love this eye look. I think she's wearing the cool, pretty cool palette here, which is, I think, the main impetus for me buying this. I was just gonna buy this one palette, but um, I decided what the heck they had a promotion on for the whole thing, and I just decided I need to spoil myself. So, this is what the palettes look like. Nice, small, lightweight, but um, very sturdy, and the colors are written directly on the back. So this is just a set of browns. Maybe there's not enough variation in this particular palette. Need a lighter one for the brow bone perhaps and a, a deeper one. But it was just what I was looking for. Just cool browns for a natural look. So I'm excited to use this, guys. Next we have the Baked Browns palette. This is one of the earlier ones that came out. A really perfect arrangement of browns Nice uh, bone colored brown for the brow and the inner corners and a nice deep sort of rusty color here. Some crease colors and around the eye. Okay, next is Marvelous Mauves. Let's open up this baby. Marvelous Mauves. Yes, looking forward to this too. This is a little warmer than I thought it was going to be, this one here but it looks pretty much very similar to the Kat Von D mini palette I had in Mauve that I got rid of a while back, but I kind of regret. I heard these shades are really powdery with a lot of kick up, but not a lot of fallout on the face, which is good because I had a problem with that with my last palettes, and that's why I was getting rid of them. 
Um, yeah, beautiful, perfect, yes. Okay, next we have Sassy Sienna's here. This is, uh, looks like it's gonna be a very peachy sort of palette. And indeed it is, check out these. So, sort of um, a terracotta base, but you got a little bit of pink here. Um, missing a high brown color here, I think, but everything else should work well. Simple, nice and simple guys, just five colors, no other stuff to tempt you in a massive palette that doesn't fit anywhere. This is ideal for me. And it's all matte, none of that glitter stuff. And last is blushing berries. Okay, obviously this is gonna have some carmine in it, some beetle juice, literally. So if you're vegan, you're not gonna want this. I'm not that strict about my veganism. I do eat honey and uh, some crushed bugs isn't going to um, upset me too much. Better than having other chemicals in it, I reckon. Okay, and here we have the Blushing Berries palette. Uh, nice dark color in here, nice brow bone color, and uh, good transition shades and a pop of color. These ones look very similar on camera, but up close they're, they're quite a bit different. Okay, so that is my new uh, makeup palette collection. Okay, so what the heck guys, I will share with you uh, my whole makeup collection now. It's everything I have except for I have also a small travel makeup case and perhaps I'll share with you that another time. And I also carry around a lipstick and maybe a mascara in my purse from time to time, so that is also not included. This is my makeup box, guys. This is it, this is everything I own. And now these palettes, I'm gonna sell this one from Tarte uh, or, or give it away uh, because I just don't use it anymore. It's got too much shivers in it. Great palette though, I'll show it to you in a minute. But okay, so we'll just put those in here. Do they fit? This is my biggest concern, do they fit? Ah, it doesn't close, that's problematic. We gotta figure something out here. I'm gonna have to put them sideways. Okay, so I'll work on that later, but basically, what I have here is a set of brushes uh, for the face, for the blush. Uh, this is for like a, a deep blending brush. I barely use this one, this is for contouring. This is for the crease. This is for precise work. And these are just a bunch of different uh, pencils I used for my eye makeup. And that's that. And then, we'll pull that back out. This is my uh, Uni palette. They don't sell these anymore. They're the, one of the earliest magnetized palettes. And this is where I kept my Visart collection. I have uh, finished some of them. Some of them are thrown out. They're just mattes that are fantastic. Very expensive palette, by the way, uh, but totally worth it. The quality is amazing. So that's this one, I'm not getting rid of that. And the other palette I really like is the Tartlet palette. Um, this one is fabulous, mostly mauves, but it's got a lot of neutrals in it too. Uh, all mattes, uh, fantastic. I've had this and use it like several times a week. It's great. It's the Tartlet palette. And that's it for my eye stuff. Now, especially that I have all these other ones, I think I have tons. And I have a, um, uh, what do we have here? Um, a MAC blush. I have a Bare Minerals foundation palette. I have a um, really, I scratched off the surface, but it's uh, a little tiny blush from Bourjois, which is great in pink color. I have a highlighting, tiny little highlighting palette. I have um, another, where, this is where I keep the overflow of, um, there's a MAC palette there, and these are all from Viseart. Uh, not a palette, but a, a, I love purple, so that's, that's why that's there. Um, but yeah, this is a good compact travel size. Some of my favorites are in there. And that is where that is. Okay, then I have, on the side here, I have um, two uh, mascaras. And I have this, uh, this is a freebie I got with some glitter in it uh, for the eyes or the cheek. And I've used it a few times. It's okay, probably won't last very long in my collection though. And then in this little box, this is where I keep my setting powder and all of my pencils. Uh, these are all basically Sephora bar a couple. There's a highlighting pencil here and the rest are just eye pencils and they're great. So there's those. And in this box is where I keep 
There's a couple of uh, tweezers here. I don't know why I have two, I don't need two. And I have all of my, there's two brushes. There is a pencil which should be here, not there. Okay, hold on, there's a, there's a plane passing. Please wait a moment. So these are all the lipsticks I have, guys. As you can see, there aren't many. There's three Burt B's uh, lip shimmer things. Uh, these are beautiful quality, keep my lips hydrated. So I have those guys. Um, yeah, that's that. Then I have um, two from, or well, not two, just the one right now from MAC. This is uh, my favorite color, Odyssey. Um, I have another of these in my purse, fantastic. Um, I have a nude um, lipstick from MAC. I have uh, this pink color from MAC. Not MAC, sorry, these are both Estee Lauder, apologies. Um, I have this thing called uh, Baby Lips, which is more like a balm um, instead of a chapstick. It's great. And this is a freebie sort of mauve pinky thing I got from Clinique. And that's it. Like, you can, a handful of lipsticks is all you need, I think. So I'll put that here. So the problem lies now with how I'm going to arrange these. I was really hoping that they would be able to fit upright in my case. Let's try it again one more time. See if I can't squish that in. Oh, okay, it kind of works. It sticks out, but um, I could probably close the bag. So they're a little bit long, but they do fit in vertically, which is perfect. Okay, now I can stop buying makeup, right? Yeah, right. This'll do for now. I'm pretty happy with what I got. Oh, and this is the Tarte palette I was talking about that I am going to pass on or to someone who might make more use of it. It's great, it, it's, it's great actually, but I don't use the shimmers so much. Uh, these ones I use the heck out of. Browns you can find anywhere. Now that I have the dark purple, I don't need this anymore because I just replaced it all. And this blush, uh, doesn't really flatter my skin that much. I do like this highlighter color here, but this is a, was a great travel kit, but I've since replaced it with a little tiny palette from uh, Viseart. I'll show you my um, travel makeup uh, bag later on. But yeah, this was great while it lasted. Tarte makes some nice stuff. Okay guys, I hope that might be somewhat interesting for you. That's my makeup bag and my new palettes from Dose of Colors, a brand I actually Never heard of until very recently. Looking forward to using these. And look what Dose of Colors also included. A bunch of cute little stickers and I guess um, just a thank you card. So very happy with this brand out of California so far. Um, I don't think I'll be shopping with them again because I pretty much bought everything that I'm interested in on their website. Um, but uh, if you're someone who likes matte eyeshadows and wants to keep your routine simple, uh, I think this, um, palette collection is the way to go. Very small, I wish they were a little bit smaller to fit in my case. I like the fact that they're um, um, hard and not that sort of cardboard stuff that gets dirty and old looking. This will probably get scratched up over time, but I think it will um, stand up to dropping it perhaps. And also I like that it has a mirror inside and I like the fact that there is a brush. Usually I don't like brushes in my compacts, but um, this might come in handy for travel that I don't have to carry around some extra brushes. And actually, having just used this br brush once, there's a defining brush on one end, a defining tip, and more of a fluffy on the other. I have to say the brushes are pretty good. I'm not uh, unimpressed with the brushes at all. I've definitely had worse in compacts, so um, like this. Also, the colors are on the back. I'm not gonna obviously go over swatches and application and names and stuff. You've got Google, you can figure that out. And there are tons of makeup tutorials. I'm not a guru, um, but I, I do like makeup. I'm liking it more and more these days, but trying to keep it simple because simple is the way to go. Five colors at once, you can't really screw that up so much. I do wish that in a couple of palettes they had like more of a lighter color and a darker color. I think you need that contrast in makeup, but I don't think you need more than five things going on in your eyes. It's all good. Okay, beautiful people, thanks for tuning in to my makeup 
spiel. I will be getting uh, back to you in the future soon with some more bag stuff because that is what I'm about, my friends. I am the bag hag. Bag hag signing out. Arrivederci. Thank you.